Marshall Thompson, uh, other than knowing that the title of this show is Jumbo, uh, that's really about all I know. So you, could you pick it up from there? <laughs> well, uh, I'll try to at any rate. Um, what a Jumbo incident means hello or greetings in Swahili, like sort of the universal language of Africa. And basically it's designed for um, young children and one thing or another. It's an animal series. We came up with this idea while we were doing Doctari, actually. And consequently, we decided to tell stories about animals. And, uh, oh, actually, they're, they're quite charming. And uh, we shoot some specific film uh, regarding the animal, particular animal that we're telling a story about. And uh, I sort of act as host narrator. Will you be going back and forth, or uh, how will that work out as far as the filming is concerned? To Africa, you mean? Yes. Well, I spent so much time already in Africa that we have enough footage of me down there, so it really doesn't matter. No, basically, it's not a human-oriented show. It's a completely animal-oriented show. And, uh, oh, for example, we have a story like an elephant and a hippopotamus who become fast friends. And uh, the hippopotamus gets captured by a poacher and the elephant frees him and, you know, that sort of thing. They're very charming stories. They're in color, of course. And uh, I really think the, uh, the kids will like it, and I know the parents will, because it's what's been designed for. It's informative, it's educational, and entertaining as well. Marshall, how many years ago did you make your first trip to Africa? Uh, well, let's see, that's, 20, that's 14 years ago, 1955. I was there in 55, 56, 57, roughly, for about a year. And um, then again, I was back in, what, 66, 10 years later. Been quite a few changes since I was there originally. Well, I was just going to ask you, in that length of time there would be, what are the, what would you consider the most impressive changes? Well, of course, uh, the most impressive naturally, like in Kenya and places like this, when I was there, it was a British crown colony. Now, of course, they're an independent country. Uh, Kenya, of course, is quite up to date and is doing quite a remarkable job. Um, the other areas are just, just growth, building, uh, of course, a certain attitude, uh, a pleasure of being free, you know, basically amongst the people. And yet, and again, though, really, there are some basic changes that I don't think will ever happen. It's just... Um, like what? Well, it's a new country, and it's vast, and it's an uh, exciting country. And you get these broad plains and broad fields and savannas and what have you. It's, um, it's a frontier place. It's not the only way I can describe it. Marshall, what would you think would be your most memorable experience in Africa? Oh, yes. Well, there are many. Uh, first of all, I do love Africa very much. I wouldn't mind going down and living there, frankly. <clears throat> but, well, being chased by a herd of elephants uh, was my very first experience. Uh, living in a tent for seven months on safari was quite an experience, of course. Um, they sort of go on and on, you know, there's so many varying stories and things that do happen down there. At any time did you really fear for your life? I was scared to death when that herd came after me. Or not, you see, actually the herd didn't come after me. I thought they were coming after me. And I was with the white hunter down there, a British sure. And as they started, he just commented, said, we'd better ease back. Well, I never eased so hard in my life. I was running so <laughs> fast, and of course you can't outrun an elephant. It's impossible. So I just knew I was dead. But Actually, the elephants were disturbed by something else and moved towards us, knocking a tree down, as a matter of fact, that almost landed on top of us, and then just moved up this ravine. And they never even saw us. They never knew we were there. But I didn't know that. And I think that probably was the scariest film I ever had in my life. In the Marshall, we're very happy to have had this chance to talk with you today, and we wish you success with your new NBC series, Jumbo. Well, thank you very much, Bob. I appreciate it.